Hello. Uh, I wanted to try to make a slightly more informative TWS video because I sort of did a bunch of stuff. Maybe somebody wants to know what the heck is going on. Uh, so right here, I just turned on my heads up display and I'm going to turn on my targeting pod over there. So that'll warm up. I'm going to set my stores config to category three, and that's going to dampen my um, flight controls because I have a whole bunch of fuel on my wings right now. So it'll make it uh, a lot smoother with the extra eight. Uh, I've just been turning on my my jammer, getting it ready, and my countermeasure system I have set to semi-automatic, which will allow us the uh, the system to fire my jammer if uh, I need it turned on. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, what else was there? That was mostly it. I also need to turn on my radar warning system, which is this little dude here. That's where you see the threats pop up from different types of radar and whatnot. Uh, that's pretty much that. So I'm going to get into the air. Hopefully. So there's four targets. I have them set to, uh, to just circle around for now. Um, so hopefully they won't come bug me. I just wanted to go over a couple things that at least I know about the radar, and just so you can sort of see how it works before the two seconds where I have to do everything happen, because everything happens really fast. So. So get airborne. I'm just gonna do do do. All right. So I'm gonna turn my master arm on, and I'm going to go into air to air mode. And uh, basically, in this mode, the jet's configured for air to air combat. Um, you see the air-to-air -air radar is on the screen right now and right now we have the uh, stores management system over here this is showing I have the uh, the aim 120 selected it's also a situational display where you can see top-down view of where I'm going and uh, my radar sweep etc I'm also gonna add the targeting pod to this panel um, because if I lock up a jet, the targeting pod will uh, try to slew and track them so you can actually get a visual, make sure you're, you're uh, actually chasing down the right bogey. <laughs> uh, one of the cool things that they added to the radar in the last patch is... Uh, non-cooperative target recognition which means uh, if you have a target locked up or maybe even when they're not locked up I'm not sure um, with your within a certain range I think it's like roughly 20 nautical miles um, and within a certain uh, they're traveling either sort of straight at you or away from you the radar can tell what motor is powering that jet based on the, the frequency that it gives off and um, so you can actually get a, an identification of a, a type of jet if it's not like getting a if you're not getting like a IFF return so like you can you'll get a little indication on the top of the screen here it'll say like SU-29 or a <laughs> big 29 or whatever something like that uh, which is pretty cool uh, so this is <clears throat> right now the radar is in RWS mode which is uh, range while 
search, I think. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to be using uh, track well scan. They both operate pretty similar. Uh, the biggest difference between the two that I know of is range well search. You can only track, uh, you can only lock up two targets at a time. Uh, whereas uh, track well scan, you can lock up to like, I think 10, which is more than you can even carry eight missiles. Um, downside is I think track well scan loses uh, your potential for losing a lock is much greater. Um, yeah, but uh, the the advantage to it is that um, if you're locking up an enemy target, they don't get an indication that you've locked them up. Um, <clears throat> so you can fire your missiles, and uh, they, unless they visually see that you fired a, a missile at them, they won't get a uh, any sort of notification that they've been fired at until that missile goes active, um, which can be uh, pretty nifty. Okay, so I'm going to switch to TWS. I'm going to change my search cone to 30 degrees instead of 60. You'll just see it, it scans a lot faster. Obviously, it's, I'm searching a smaller area, but um, but that extra bit of search time is nice. Okay, so I'm going to change my steer point to steer point 2, which is in the direction of those uh, the MiGs. And hopefully, I will kill them, and they will not kill me. I've done this mission once before, and I killed one of them. <laughs> I did not kill the rest. All right, I'm just gonna. I have a crap ton of extra fuel right now, so I'm gonna blast up to a high altitude. Try to get an advantage. disadvantage obviously to flying at a high altitude is people can see you especially if you're making a contrail uh, but it's you get more range out of your missiles which is good because basically uh, the higher you are the thinner the altitude or the air is and also it's like it's like rolling a ball down a hill basically your, your missile doesn't have to work as hard to go a longer distance Especially when there's four, I want as many, uh, as much of an advantage as I can get, because uh, they killed the crap out of me last time. <laughs> so right now my radar, you can see, I'm scanning between 43,000 feet and 19,000 feet at uh, at about 20 nautical miles. At my max range right now, I'm at 53.14. They should be. Well, they're probably climbing. They probably see me, and they're probably blasting up to like thirty thousand feet as well. But let's see. I'll do a quick IFF scan. Nothing. All right. I'm going to slap this at category one, and I'm going to drop my tanks. I don't need them. So basically I'm waiting for some little white squares to show up. Oh, there's some. So there they are. I'm getting a... It's a pretty good uh, range on this radar right now. So I'm going to start sort of flying off to one side a bit. Because those guys are going to get missiles on me. They always do. So basically, I'm just waiting for uh, these blocks to turn on. Okay. Yeah, I think somebody's jamming. Alright, that's good. So I just locked everybody up in sequence. 
I'm going to Fox One. Uh, three rather. <laughs> So I just sequentially went through all the targets. Um, I think they might have jammed me. But let's see. Cat flare, cat flare. Cat flare. I don't know how my missiles are doing. One. One. <laughs> That's two. Counter. Cat flare. That's two. All right. Let's see how it goes. Oh, that's another one. Counter. Good guy. <laughs> my uh oh that's it <laughs> yeah it's been a long time and I definitely forgot how to use my uh fire missiles properly otherwise he'd probably be toast oh well that was pretty decent I'm still extremely new, as it's probably obvious. Alright, well, hopefully that was better than the last video. 